Hey guys, welcome back to another Book Lovers Pizza video. Today we're going to be reviewing Golden Girl by Gillian Flynn. So to start off, this book was an absolute roller coaster of a novel. Golden Girl is a 2012 crime fiction novel written by Gillian Flynn. It has approximately 430 pages, which is pretty good considering the amount of action that it had inside. The crime novel documents the roller coaster of a relationship between two key characters, Amy and Nick. It also has many side characters such as Go, Nick's parents, and Amy's parents. Upon Amy and Nick's fifth anniversary, Amy goes missing. Nick immediately rings the cops and tells them all about the story. However, due to childhood traumas, Nick has difficulty expressing his emotions, especially when they're extreme. So when the media finds out Amy's missing and they go to interview Nick, and Nick shows no emotions, he becomes the cop's first suspect. This book focuses heavily on the psychological factors of murder and how they can impact a person and a character in this case. It turns out later that although Nick and Amy's relationship started out very well, after passing years it turns sour and bitter. The book is written from the perspectives of two people, as you can guess it was Nick and Amy. They form back-to-back -back chapters, so the first chapter is Nick, second is a passage from Amy's journal, and then it goes back to Nick and then back to Amy and back to Nick. And it goes on like that. And we, as the reader, can see that the journal, Amy's journal, is a very important part of the story and the evidence later on. So, what did I like about it? Well, I liked that the climax was so anticipated and so satisfactory to us as the reader. I liked how the details that the author gave us were so concise and relevant to the story, not just bits and pieces to keep us interested and, like, part of the story. It was so concise, as I said before, and it's really relevant to like the investigation and the story and our understanding of the novel as a whole. I like that although the storyline of an accused murder and the husband being the first suspect is a bit cliche, I like how Gillian turns the story by its head and gives us a fresh new perspective. I also like although how the book gives us external characters such as Go, Nick's parents and Amy's parents, the book still feels very personal, such as Amy's personal diary entries and Nick's perspective of the story gives us two sides rather than just one and feels very connected and very personal. So what did I not like about it? Well, although it was a great book, I didn't like how it was so slow to get into its climax. I didn't, and I also didn't really like how it had so many mature themes and mature content, like not for children to read. In conclusion, I would definitely recommend this book to people who enjoy crime fiction and books with psychological detail. However, as said previously, if you are under the age of 15, I might not recommend this for you because of its mature themes and the um, offensive language inside. The book had an amazing amount of detail and a surprising plot, and for that I would definitely recommend it. It was a great read. Although this is a relatively new genre for me, I would still rate the book a 5 out of 5. This is probably because of its very original or very surprising plot and the attention to detail that the author gave the book seeing why it's in the best-selling list for many different publishers. Thanks for watching today's video about Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope you have a great day. Peace out!